Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, I've just launched a Zodiac birthday candle for all signs. And if you want to check out the Taurus candle, I'll have the link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Taurus for their highest and greatest good. Ooh, we've got the energy of the Eight of Cups, okay. All right, your person, ooh, some of you, your person has left a connection. All right, for some of you, you're in separation with this person. Mm, they're not loving that. Cancerian energy coming through and the Nine of Cups. All right, Taurus, you have some sort of wish fulfillment coming to you. Now you could be dealing with a cancer. Um, you have somebody here with the Page of Wands in reverse who's not taking action and not quite communicating. Um, they want a new beginning with you. They want to heal things with you if you're in separation from them, if this ending was between the two of you. Um, if this is somebody brand new or it's somebody you met and they were in another connection, that other connection is over, okay? Or they've gone through, you know, if it's a new person, they've gone through some sort of divorce or separation, but I see them being single. The Eight of Cups tells me someone here has walked away. And we get the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Mm, and the King of Swords. Okay, some of my Taurus, this is somebody who may have ghosted you in the past, but they're coming in to make things right with the King of Swords, and they're coming in with communication. Or for some of you, maybe they've just been quiet for a couple of days, right? Um, but I also feel, for a lot of you, this person has, if it's like somebody new or it's somebody that you met when they were in another connection... I, I I feel like they've actually been quite private about this ending. They've kept it close to their chest, but they are going to come in, come out and tell you. And I think that's going to be quite a surprise for you. All right. This person has deep romantic feelings for you. I'm getting they're very attracted to you. I'm also seeing that they've been checking you out on social media, but they haven't taken action yet. All right. And, and I feel this person's quite private, especially if they're, if they've gone through a divorce or separation with somebody else, like other than you. And if it has been with you, you just haven't heard from them, right? This person is building up their strength and their courage, but I do feel like they're single. I feel like they're, they're where they want to be. Yeah. But they, but they've been healing. They've been healing and they may have been, you know, it feels like this person may have given you the cold shoulder. Some of you may not know why this is why for others of you, they're healing. They're building their strength and their courage. They want to communicate, though. And, yeah, they know that you're feeling emotionally drained, but they're planning on reaching out. And it's almost like they're planning the perfect time. Um, they're waiting for things to be right. With the chariot card in reverse, this person could be at a distance. Yeah, interesting. For some of you also, they might have been waiting for my Taurus for some of you to heal from something, whether it was another breakup or an illness. But this person, they've they, I feel they've been doing a lot of shadow work. They've been doing a lot of healing. Some of you I heard like they've taken up Reiki or they've been doing a lot of energy work and that might not be like them. But this person has definitely been like up leveling. And it, I'm almost seeing like this person doesn't want to rush into things or like take a leap of faith without knowing that they're where they need to be. All right. Which I, which I like because it tells me like they, they don't want to do, they want to do things right. Yeah. This person wants the 10 of cups. This person wants to be married again if they were divorced in the past. Um, and if they were, if you two were together, they want to reunite. You have wish fulfillment coming in Taurus. And the Ten of Wands, things have been heavy. And I can see here that you've been grieving. And there might be challenges here to coming back together. But what I'm hearing from Spirit right now is like, give it time. Look at this. At the bottom of the deck, I want marriage. This person wants to wants commitment with you. 
but it feels like they, they're, they're taking their time to heal and you may not have heard from them. And for a lot of you, if this person was married, they, they do want to be married again. Hmm. Let's see. What else do we need to know? This person, like I said, they might have gone quiet for a couple of days or you haven't heard from them in a while. Yeah, hush, hush. I'm not picking up on third party situation though. I get that this person's very private or the way they need to process emotions and heal is like on their own. Yeah, they, and they it looks like they did a runner here, Taurus. And I want marriage, but this person wants commitment. So this is energy that's definitely gonna have to change if they want commitment, but I see them reaching out to you. I see them, you know, maybe even possibly like running into you or having like friends set something up. And your situation with them is going to be different. For some of you, it, like I said, it's an ex. For others of you, it's somebody who's just, you know, been admiring you. Um, I do feel like they, they want another shot at marriage and commitment here. And they want that to be with you. But it's like they still have some healing to do. So I'm, I'm hearing like you need to be patient. Or they're waiting for like the timing to be right. Um, again, don't put your life on hold, Taurus, for someone who's not reaching out and who's not communicating um, or just because of a reading, like you want to put yourself out there if you want to date, if you want to, um, you know, if you're looking for like a long-term partner, but it does feel like this person's going to come, come rushing towards you. Spirit's saying there's a lot of, of abundance here and that's kind of what I'm getting. Like I know you've been through a lot and things have been really heavy, but I feel with this nine of cups, Taurus, you have wish fulfillment coming in. Yeah, this is a maybe a twin flame connection or just, you know, you two complement each other. It's a yin-yang connection. Yeah, but there's something that's blocking this person right now. And I feel like it's this healing, something they feel like they need to deal with on their own. Yeah, and it's possible this person did do a runner or they ghosted. And they may have had a fear of intimacy or they were listening to their ego. But I do see that they want to come in and make it, make it up to you. That's what I'm hearing. Like this person wants marriage. They want commitment with you. And for some of you, they are hightailing it out of another connection um, because it's over, right? But I like the King of Swords energy because it's like they're going to be straight with you. They're going to tell you everything. And I, and I feel like for some of you, they may be leaving a connection for you. Um, but for others of you, they just, they really keep things close to their chest. They like to deal with things on their own. And that may be because of, the, you know, their childhood um, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times, not all the time, but like a lot of times when kids are left alone or, or abandoned, even when they're really young, like they learn to deal with and process their emotions by themselves. And so that might be the case with your person. Like I do feel like they're a little bit closed off like that. So again, you decide what works for you, Taurus, but I feel this person's coming in. Yeah. Follow the path of ascension. So spirit saying, continue to do you focus on your abundance, on your health. I feel you probably have a few options right now, but I feel this person is being guided by spirit in their dreams, by their spirit guides, their higher selves to come towards you. Yeah, and a lot of you, this is a secret admirer or this person has kept some stuff hidden, but I'm not getting like I normally get like somebody who is deceitful in the sense that, you know, they were, they had you in a third party situation. I just feel this person's emotions are, you know, they keep them under wraps, right? And things might seem lighthearted and uncertain. And and if it, if that's the case with this person, like if they're a little bit off and on or they kind of keep you guessing, again, the empress or an emperor isn't going to sit around and guess forever. Um, but stay in this energy of self-love. I, I feel you've got somebody that's definitely going to come towards you. You're manifesting what you want. And it's a new beginning. And it's a long-term relationship. All right? Um you're just going to have to decide if it's with this person or not. And if you can trust them, if you can, you know, if they're, um, you know, they're responsible with your feelings. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Again, if you're interested in your Taurus birthday Zodiac candle, the link is down below in the description box, along with ways you can get a private reading or the cards that I'm using and also my links to TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Taurus. Take care.